Hi there guys, my name is Danielle. You can call me Danny and welcome to my channel. I know, first video back and we're already doing another haul. But I have an excuse-ish. <laughs> um, while I was gone, I did a huge declutter in my makeup room and or my beauty room, whatever we want to call this. Um, and I got rid of a lot of things. I got rid of a lot of makeup that I have just been hoarding, I didn't want to get rid of, makeup that I had just to have, things that I, you know, didn't even use, um, what's it called, limited edition things, limited time only things that no one can find anymore, like, although there are still some of my collections that I still have, obviously, they're going to be sentimental to me. So I did keep most of them, but the ones that didn't hold sentiments to me, of course, I was able to get rid of them because I just, they just didn't hold anything to me. And then of course, I have a problem of just buying a lot of things that I think are pretty and that would look nice. So sometimes that means I have multiples of things, especially when it comes to like lip liners, eyeliners, things like that. Uh, I can get multiple colors of them. So I went really into depth in there and tried to condense it and get rid of multiples that I have. So I donated a lot and I also gave a lot to my family and I also put a lot of new makeup away to put as future giveaways. So I'm really excited about that as well. And of course, since I did declutter a lot of makeup, I thought, well, you know, might as well get some new things, got to test some things out, you know, and, you know, got to treat myself, you know. <laughs> so I decided to do a little shopping on the Sephora <laughs> and um, get quite a few things. Now, I'm not sure if this is my biggest Sephora haul, um, nor is it the most amount of money I've ever spent at Sephora, but... I will have you know I spent the exact amount. I spent $1,260.78 at Sephora. Um, and this is like an estimate. It's not like the precise amount because it could like waver between like taxes, discounts, things like that. But this is like the rough amount. And it's not all at once. Uh, this is from multiple orders throughout like three months, three or four months. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I have a big box, <sighs> big old Sephora box. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, uh, let's get started. <laughs> big, huge variety of makeup, skincare, hair care, a bunch of things. I'm going to tip it up. I'm going to tip it so you guys can see it. Can you see it? I got a lot of stuff in there. Ooh, it's heavy, it's heavy, it's heavy. <laughs> Now, I'm just gonna just go right in, you know, just, yeah, this is a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> so, the first thing I have is this Bite Beauty set. This is called the Feast Your Eyes. It comes with a mini mascara and a mini eyeliner. I love the Bite Beauty mascara. I've never tried the eyeliner, but I know I like the mascara, so I thought this was a great uh, thing to try. Uh, for the eyeliner and also get a backup of my mascara. From the Sephora collection, I got two of the Micro Smooth Baking Powders. Uh, I got one in shade 30 Sand and 85 Almond. One I want to use more as a bronzer, the other one I want to use as an actual face powder. Uh, so I got two of them. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically like it. <laughs> I got two of those. I also got the Kaja Mist Me Hydrating Face Mist. You guys know I love hydrating mist. I got the Makeup by Mario Sculpting Contour Stick in Light Medium. Super excited to try that out. From Sephora Skin, I got the Targeted Dark Spot Serum. I do have a lot of dark spots, like mainly on my forehead. And I don't, like I don't understand why <laughs> like I do understand but like it drives me insane so I'm hoping that will help out my favorite is the Clinique one but your girl doesn't want to spend that much money every time so hopefully that will also help 
I also got this mini Ula Henderson Day Bright and Smooth Night Set. It comes with a vitamin C acid serum and also a Dutopia night treatment. This is the one, the Dutopia one is one of their newest things and I'm really excited to try that. It's also to help with like dark spots and stuff. Then to for collection again, I got two of the clear and cover acne treatment concealers. I got one in shade beige and sand. Uh, these are one of my favorite ones, especially when I'm just doing like a minimalistic look. Um, especially when I have to wear a mask all day for work and I don't feel like doing a full face, I'll put these on like the blemishes that might pop up, especially because I'm wearing a mask, I get sweaty, I get hot. And of course I'm wearing a ton of makeup on top of that. I'll put this on top of there just to cover it and also help deflate it and stuff. So that one I really enjoy. From Sephora and Coach, I got the T-Rose Eye Mask Set. Uh, that's basically it. I wanted to try it out. I know um, it's a limited edition collection. I do have the brush set um, behind me as decor. So I thought I might as well, you know, get something that I can actually use. <laughs> Next, I got the mini of the Breezy Cream Bronzer by Tarte. And I've been, this was like a one on my list forever. So I'm really excited to try that. I also got the new... LYS Beauty Triple Fix Serum Foundation. Um, this is in the shade LN6. Really excited to try this out. And yeah, tell you my thoughts. I also got the Ciate London Miss Piggy Collection Blush Palette. Uh, the cream blush palette. I honestly thought this was a um, powdered blush palette until I actually bought it. <laughs> I really need to like do my like more research on these but it doesn't matter because I'm like really into cream blushes too so I'm really excited for that. I also got the LYS Beauty Higher Standard Matte Cream Blush in the shade Self Love. I tested that out in the store and it feels so pretty or like it doesn't make sense. It feels so creamy and it looked so pretty. That's what I mean. <laughs> And then from the Sephora collection, I also got two of the S Clean Velvet Cream Blush Palettes. Um, and do they even say which ones they are? Oh, and Spiced and Candied. So these are the two that they have. I was just going to get one, but then I was like, might as well get both because <laughs> they're pretty and I couldn't help myself. <laughs> now this one I'm really excited for. Um... This is my first time getting Dior palettes. I got two Dior palettes. I got the Illuminating palette. This one is in 02 Glitz. This is going to be like their more neutral palette. If I like this, I want to get the 01 Universal. I think that's what it's called. I think that's the one that has more of like the pink and iridescent type ones. And then I also got the palette contour and I'm really excited about this one this one has been on my list forever and I just finally went you know what that's one that I actually want in my collection so I'm gonna get it and I got it <laughs> next I got the Sigma and Sephora brush cleaning set um it comes with a brush pad and a Sigma brush cleaner thingy. Uh, I thought this was really cool. I love Sigma. I have a bunch of their brushes so I thought this would be good to help clean those brushes too. Again from um, Sephora skincare I got this bubble bath and shower gel in Lagoon. This was actually a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. It was This was only six dollars guys and literally it's as big as my face. Look at that. That's that's ridiculous. I'm, I'm like super impressed by the size and the price of that. And I'm excited for that. Another Dior product I got is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. This one I got in the shade One Warm. And I'm really, really excited to have that and try that out. Because I love my other Dior foundations that I have. So that's literally the only one I don't have and haven't tried yet. 
Then from The Ordinary, I got the Alpha Albutin 2% HA Serum. And this one is supposed to help with hyperpigmentation and dark spots. So your girl is literally just trying anything to help with these dark circles around her face. Like, I just, I'm over it. <laughs> Next, I got the Laneige Multi-Deep Clean Cleanser for all skin types. This was also on my list for quite a while. And then I also got the Sephora Collection Nourishing Moisturizer. Excited to try that. I got the Caudalie, or Caudalie, however you pronounce it, uh, Vinyl Fresh Deodorant Stick in Natural. Really excited to try that as well. Then I got the Sol de Janeiro uh, Anita Fragrance. This is the one that they collabed with that uh, Brazilian pop star, I think it is. Honestly, I don't know anything about her. I just thought the scent was amazing. It's the only one that I actually liked from Sol de Janeiro, no offense. <laughs> but I had to grab that one, so I got it. Then I also got the Milk Hydro Eye Primer. This one might be a shock to you because you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of the Hydro Grip Primer. But when I tested this out, it like, oh my gosh, it was amazing. Like it changed the eyeshadow formula that I was testing out. So I decided to grab it and see how it wears as well because, you know, you can't really test the wear of it when you're trying it at the store. So I got that and I'm excited to actually see how it wears. Then I got two of the Urban Decay Brow Blades. I got shade Blackout and Dark Drapes. Uh, this is actually my first time purchasing these. They were on a sale and your girl decided to get two different shades because why not, you know? I usually just go for plain black for my eyebrows because my hair is pitch black. But, you know, sometimes maybe you just want to go a little lighter. You know, have some fun with it. Then I also got the Moroccan Oil Curl Defining Cream. Uh, the Peace Out Acne Tr Champs. I almost said Tramps. <laughs> this one comes with an acne serum, the Blemish Balm, and some acne healing dots. Really excited for that. I also got the Peptide Moisturizer by The Inky List for dry skin. Y'all already know the reason for that. <laughs> Also from the Inky List, I got the Sicilic Acid Cleanser for all skin. It says it's best for oily skin, but also blemish prone skin. I'm not necessarily blemish prone. It's just like recently I've been really blemish prone for some reason. Then from the Ordinary, I got the Saline Cleanser. And this is supposed to be like a really good cleanser and help like deep clean remove makeup. So that will be good for after work days. Then from Too Faced, I got two of their Killer Liners. I'm really excited about these. I love these colors. I have Killer Gingerbread, which is going to be like a perfect fall and winter shade. And I also got Killer Turquoise, which is like just a beautiful blue. As you guys can tell, I love the color blue. So, excited for that. Then from Supergroup, I got the Super Screen Daily Moisturizer SPF 40. Um... Yeah, I think this is going to be a really good one because I already have like a set skincare routine and sometimes I forget to put on my actual sunscreen. Yeah, that's the right word. <laughs> and I thought having it mixed into one might be great. So I'm hoping this will actually work well for me and I can just switch over to that. Oh, now this one you all are probably going to think I'm extra and maybe, honestly. <laughs> but... I got three of the Fenty Hydrating Foundations. Uh, hear me out. I believe this is either getting discontinued, <laughs> discontinued or they're going to like repackage it or worse, reformulate it. And your girl doesn't want that. <laughs> so I got three shades. I got my summer shade. And I got two in between like fall winter shades for right now. And I'm just hoping that they're just going to try and get a better packaging because I know the packaging really sucks for this. But honestly, like you can't find any of these shades online anymore. And I'm like really scared. <laughs> so I got three of them. 
honestly, I might even buy more because I'm, this is like one of my favorite foundations. And I know I have a lot of foundations already, but like I said, you know, I decluttered a lot and the, one of them was my foundation collection. So, I don't know. I might get more, I might not. Just depends, you know. Maybe, hopefully, sh the the brand will come out with, like, what they're going to do with it or something. Then, from Caudalie, again, I got the Vino Clean Cleansing Almond Milk. And then... From Patrick Ta, this one is the one that I'm really excited for. I am a Rouge member, if you guys couldn't tell. <laughs> and Rouge's had first access to this. This is the Major Headlines Blush Palette by Patrick Ta. This is that new one that everyone's been, like, cr I almost said craving. <laughs> um, like, trying to get their hands on. And I woke up early one day, and if you, it sounds dumb, but sometimes the first thing I do is, like, just scroll on Sephora and see what, like, their newest things are. And I saw that this was finally available, but only Rouge's had first access. I didn't even think about it. I just added a cart and bought it right there and then. So <laughs> I am really excited to play with this one and get it into my collection. We're, all, we're actually almost done, guys. Can you believe this is, like, a thousand dollars worth of stuff? <laughs> Next, I got some face mask magic set. And it comes with the pomegranate, the coconut, the matcha, grapefruit, watermelon, and lish uh, masks. So I'm really excited to try these. I've tried a couple of Sephora collection masks, but not a lot. And I also decluttered some of my skincare as well. So that's why I also added more skincare as well. So mask was one of the ones that definitely had to go. <laughs> then I actually got a bunch of Sephora candles because uh, they actually smell really good. And your girl doesn't want to spend like 20 30 dollars for bath and body works candles anymore so <laughs> i got this cute set from the sephora collection that has some nice middle minis in them this is really nice and like the perfect gift for people but honestly i just got it for me i don't care <laughs> i'm gonna set this over here i don't want to break it and then i also got i think two yep two full-size candles uh one in pop fizz and the other one in bloom uh yeah I got those because, like I said, don't want to start paying twenty-six to like forty dollars for candles anymore. <laughs> then <laughs> I also got some more candles. This is from the Volupsa, the Volupsa. I don't. I'm probably butchering the name. I'm sorry. Uh, mini tin candle trio, and yeah, I thought these were really nice. It comes with forbidden fig. Ball, tick amber and the coconut vanilla and yeah I thought this was really cool I think it's three for 24 and I thought that was a really good deal because candles last quite a bit a long time especially if you're like me when you only light them like when you're home and I work full-time obviously so they're not on that long <laughs> but they last quite a bit now oh my gosh we're actually almost done guys I'm excited <laughs> Now, I also got from Urban Decay the Inked Brow. This one was an impulse purchase. It was also on sale, and I was just like, you know what? I've actually never heard anything about this. So I decided just to, you know, why not? Go ahead. You know, you, you don't have, well, I do have some brow products, but you don't have anything like that. I thought that was something interesting to try. Then, the reason why everything came in such a big box is because I actually got two acrylics. Um, these are just random acrylics that I want to add to my background back there to just hold maybe some mini palettes or some more eyeliner or something like that. And they were on sale. Really, the sales is what gets me. <laughs> And then the last things that I got from Sephora are the Coach and Sephora Collection Eyeshadow uh, Palette Trio. I say trio, but they, they're sold separately. And not going to lie, I'm not sure if I want to display them like this or if I want to display them like separately. Yes, I only got them so I could display them. I am sorry. They were on sale. 
<laughs> and I got the uh, T-Rex with Rexy. I also got the Unicorn. This one is a face palette and I, it's called a Uni Face. And then I also got Sharky. Sharky was sold out for the longest time ever. I got these two first because these ones were still in stock. But I had to wait so long for the Sharky one to come back in stock. And yeah, I'm really excited about it. I honestly haven't even checked to make sure none of them are broken. <laughs> but even if they are, I feel bad because <laughs> technically it's not a big deal because I'm just going to have them displayed. But yeah, uh, my mom is a huge coach person. She loves coach, designer purses, things like that. And, you know, she's the one that's gotten me like my first coach, my first designer bags, my first designer things. And so that's like, I don't know, it's more sentimental for me just because I really... It just reminds me of my mom. And like, my mom is still with me, you know? I just don't live with her or anything. And yeah, I just, I love my mama. So, and she loves Coach. Uh, so she's really excited about this, but she doesn't wear makeup. So I decided to just uh, get it for myself, but I would still have it so that she can admire it as well. All right, guys, this is literally everything. This is a lot less, honestly, this is a lot less than I thought what I had. Can you believe all this stuff? It's over, what, $1,200? <sighs> the price of beauty. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, welcome back, Danny. <laughs> uh, if you liked the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below so I know. And, um, you know, give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't like it. Because uh, give it a thumbs up for me being back. You know, I feel great. Um, you know, I got some more content coming soon. But I'm not going to say exactly when. Because, you know, you know, your girl's just going with the flow now. You know, she's not into that whole YouTube algorithm, YouTube, whatever they're going to do. You know, it's just you, me, our family, the room, Maya and Grace. <laughs> and we're just, we're just gonna, we're just gonna live life, you know? All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I think I already, I already said like the video. That's it. Leave a comment down below about anything. I know the Sephora um, holiday savings event is happening right now. Uh, I'm definitely probably going to buy more. <laughs> but I'm focusing more on buying gifts now. I, you know, this is pretty much everything that I want for myself. Well, of course, I want, like, other stuff. But right now, my main focus is buying gifts because my love language is gifts. So, right now, Christmas is, like, my most favorite because I love buying gifts. So, my main focus is gifts. So, you know, that's what I'm going to do. But let me know if you guys have something that you're going to buy during the holiday savings event from Sephora. And, yeah. I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up down below so I know. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I post whenever. <laughs> um, leave a comment down below on about what you're going to buy during the holiday savings event. And yeah, or what you did buy, because honestly I don't know when this is going to go up. But <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so, so, so much. And I will see you in my next video.